Hey there, and welcome to this week's video. It's being published on January 2nd, 2020. So let me start off by wishing you a very happy and blessed new year. Maybe you've set your intentions for this new year, maybe even created an intentions box. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out last week's video. I'll provide a link to it for setting intentions for 2020. But as promised, I wanted to start off the new year with a hair tutorial, it's by request. Ever since I chopped off the hair, I've had a lot of you asking, how do you blow it out? Out, how do you style? And to me, a hair tutorial needs to be a lot more than just a blowout. It needs to be showing versatility in a look. And I have always believed that short hair is not limiting. You do have options. So my purpose in today's video is showing you three different ways to style short hair. So just to uh, back you up a little bit, in the shower, I shampooed with Kevin Murphy's Luxury Rinse and, well, Luxury Wash and luxury rinse. It is, um, it is, um, <laughs> ultra rich shampoo for thick, coarse, or curly hair. Yours truly does not have thick hair, but curly hair. So this helps to tame the mane and it's a great starting point. It's a wonderful, wonderful product. Now, before styling, I am not going to overdo it with product. When your hair is very short, if you put in too much product, it gets dirty and greasy quick. And as you know, I like to stretch my hair washings about three days, maybe four if I'm lucky. Short hair, not so much. So we're gonna go very, very light on product. This is completely up to you. You don't have to use any type of a styling product, maybe a little something for heat if you want. If you have very fine or flat hair, you may want something to give you a little bit of a lift. So what I will bring into the picture is the Got To Be Fantastic by Schwarzkopf. This backs up all the way to the inception of my channel in 2014. I've been using this product. It's a great mousse, great volumizer. A little goes a long long way. So I don't need much because I don't have a lot of hair and I'm really going to focus it in the crown and the root line. So that's it. Just a little dabble do ya. Just areas where I want just a little bit of height. Um, and any other product will happen on the back end of styling. Okay, so now that we have talked about shampoo, conditioner, and styling product, I will be using my same old hair dryer, my Elchim. I don't know what model it is, but all Elchim, and it's spelled E-L-C-H-I-M. All Elchim dryers are fantastic. They kick out a lot of heat and a lot of power, which is something that I personally need with curly hair to be able to smooth it out and get it straight. I've had this baby forever. Uh, next up are the hair brushes that I'll be, be using and I have two of them. They are by Termix Professional. This is about an inch and a half to a two inch barrel. This one is about a one inch barrel and I use the shorter one, the smaller one, for my shorter hairs in the back and also for getting lift around the part line, the bigger one to help blow out and smooth. So the key to blowing out a short hairstyle is creating movement in the hairstyle. So you're going to see I'm going to use my hands a lot in pushing everything forward. I start in the back, I'm going to flatten and push everything forward and I'll take you through the process as we go. So as you can see, I don't part my hair on this side, I do it the other side, but I am starting on this side to get a little bit of volume up at the top, and I am bringing all of the hair here on the side forward while flattening out all the hair in the back. And always manipulating with my hands. Same for the other side. Flip it, bring the sides down and forward. Okay, so when I get about half the way dry, I still have some moisture in my hair, that's when I start working on the front and the back and bringing in the brush. I have shown you in previous videos that I really start working on my front first. These are the most important hairs to me. These are also my most unruly. So I wanna get these tame while the hair is still wet. If it dries too much and gets too much of a curl pattern in, then it gets frizzy and it gets interesting bends that I don't necessarily like. So I'm gonna start on the front and I'm going to work on my part line. Big brush first, 
to smooth out. And I'm going backwards and pulling forward. So the sides here, as you saw, I went back first and then I came straight down. And it's a combination of the two. And the back is where you want to start getting a little bit of a lift. So this is where you want some volume to come in, right in here. saying, okay, when is the small hairbrush going to enter the picture? Well, that I use for my part line, especially if I want volume right along the part line. So I've smoothed out the front and now I just take the hair along my part, kick in this little brush and heat it up. That's holding it at the part line and then pulling it straight. And that gives you a nice little bounce and a pop right here if you don't want flat hair. And you do the same technique toward the back and the crown of the hair. Again, working on a side part. Beat it up. And then pull it through. But it's amazing what a wonderful little lift it gives, but we're not going for a round kind of a poofy thing. We want a little bit of a lift in the crown and then pulling it straight. So that's why you're working with the heat and following the brush all the way out to the end instead of just heating it up around that brush and then releasing it because then you get that little poofy bend and that's not what's in. So you want smooth and straight with just a little bit of height. I'm gonna do one more hit in the back and then it'll be the bigger brush for the rest. Pull it out. So we're halfway done. Time now to finish up this side. I just catch, grab the hair, and pull it out to the side. Always pulling the end straight, as you can see. Technique around the sides, going back, pushing forward. Okay, so this is going to lead us to hairstyle number one, which is super, super simple, a very soft and natural look. Um, I'm going to use, there's a product that I've discovered that I really love. It's um, Coconut and Manoy Deep Moisture Milk Souffle with Sunflower and Shea. It's a natural product. It's by Design Essentials. A little dabble do you. This is strictly for post blow drying moisture. If you don't have that issue, then you don't need to do this, but I love the fact that it adds a lot of shine to my hair. So I mean, seriously, a tiny, tiny amount is sufficient. I just, I mean, I don't even know if it's a dime size. It's just a little, little bit, but it's, um, like I said, it's a wonderful moisturizer and I just kind of kick it on my ends gives me a bit of separation and I just start playing with the hair and moving it forward. So I get some shine, I get some separation and at this point what I do is I tuck my left side, your right, behind my ear and I push everything else forward. Bring that a little bit behind the ear too. Pop up a bit of volume.
and it's a very casual, loose and messy type of a pixie bob. If you get it where you like it, just hit it with a tiny, tiny bit of hairspray. You really don't need much. Um, you will see that the mousse in the back really gave me some lift in this area where I wanted lift. Helped to push everything to the side and forward. So you get a lot of separation. You can do a little bit forward here if you want. Tuck the rest back behind and there you go. That's look number one. Uh, very, very easy to do. Like I said, it's just right after the blow dry, just a little bit of separation with some product and a little bit of hairspray and out the door you go. Okay, so the next look that we're going for is a little bit more work chic. So I decided to pop on a turtleneck. I really like this look with a high neck and it's a very, very simple transition. So you would do your blowout just as I showed you. The only difference is, is that we're gonna get just a little bit more height right here in the root area at the front, especially around the part line. So I'm going to take my little brush and I'm just going to focus on warming up that area for some lift. And same on the part. So it's the front and the part. And now to create this look, I'm going to use a little bit more of a wax type product. So the one that I am choosing is by Brazilian Blowout. It's a Sai Restorative Sculpt and Define Potion. A little goes a long way with this. So how to transition from the more casual look to the more work look is you take a very small amount of this pomade, again, no, no larger than a dime, and we're gonna concentrate on the front section to get some lift right here and to tuck it both sides now behind the ears. Super, super easy to do. Just pull your back pieces forward. Use whatever's left to kind of piece it out. Just smooth out and make sure all your hair is going in one direction. It's an almost slick back look, but it's still allowing for some height in the part line. Uh, Charlize Theron has been wearing her hair this way, but she's been making it super slick to her head. And it's a look that she can pull off beautifully. Not everybody feels confident with it completely flattened out. That's why I added that little bit of a root lift to the front and the side along the part. And so you, now that you've created a more masculine looking hairstyle, I personally love the contrast of popping in some really big feminine earrings. So you have this great combo of completely slick back hair and now your focal point is on your jewelry and the high neck. And I think it's just a wonderful, great type of a corporate look. Really dresses things up and so, so easy to do. And see the other side. You can go all the way back on this longer side, or you can opt to take a piece down, whatever you enjoy doing and however you like to play with it. Okay, so the last look is one that I love for the evening, and we're going to start with the fresh blow dry, and instead of focusing on such a deep side part, we're gonna get all the hair to go back. So we take our brush, and you can take your big one or your little, whichever you prefer, grab the entire front section, and you're gonna roll that straight back and hit it with the heat. Okay, we're gonna go back to the same pomade by Brazilian Blowout, and we are, this time, going to slick it all back. Instead of on the part, we're going all back. Again, a little dabble, do ya? And just run your hands straight back. And when you get things to where you like it, you can hit it with your spray. I like this, it's a little bit looser. It looks like the hands just went through it. It's still PC, not as slick and tight on the sides. Using helium air spray, by the way.
And once you set it, forget it. There's your nighttime look. So there you are. I hope that seeing three different looks with a short haircut takes away the fear and stigma of, oh my gosh, I'll be trapped if I cut off all my hair. I think sometimes we talk ourselves out of trying something new because fear sets in and what if we don't like it? What if we don't know how to do it? What if my husband doesn't like it? Well, I'm here to say, who are you living for, <laughs> right? You walk your walk. You do what speaks to you. And I'm providing content on this platform to let you know that you have options, to let you know that you can style your hair in a multitude of ways if it's really short, if it's a bob, if it's a pixie bob, if it's curly, whatever it is, there are ways to work with it. And I've always said, let's say you do something drastic and you don't like it. But what if in the grow out process, you discover the perfect look for you and you never would have known had you not gone there in the first place. So sometimes those bold leaps and those leaps of faith are what take us to that next level. A little food for thought for 2020. Let me know what it is that you would like to see from me as I start drafting ideas of what I'd like to put out for you. My content is based on your interests and your desires. Let me also state that we have such a wonderful, fun um, community and conversation on social media. If you do not follow me on social media yet, please come and visit me on Instagram and Facebook. I am there always, I post always, a lot of slice of life, a lot of what's real. I am not into fallacy, I'm not into pretense. If I'm sick, I post I'm sick. If I'm without makeup, I post without makeup. I think it's very, very important to show that real is right. So come join me in the conversation and I look forward to seeing you next Thursday at one o'clock. Happy New Year.